Ever looked at a math problem and wondered why there are letters mixed in with the numbers? What's up with these X's and Y's playing around in math equations? Join me as we explore these questions in today's episode of Mr. Mark's Math Adventures. Hey math learners, it's Mr. Marks, your friendly neighborhood math teacher. Remember, it's not just about getting the right answers, it's about learning and growing along the way. Before we go into today's adventure, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned for future episodes. And today, we're going to embark on an exciting journey into the world of algebraic expressions. But first, let's talk about what algebraic expressions are. And as we start, always feel free to use the companion worksheet. It's a great tool to follow along with the episode and to keep track of your notes. The companion worksheet's free to download, link in the description. Now, algebraic expressions expressions are like puzzles made up of numbers, variables, and operations. Think of them kind of like sentences in mathematics, where letters and symbols come together to tell stories about quantities and relationships. Wait a minute. All right, operations and numbers, I get those. But what exactly are you talking about with variables? Well, variables, usually represented by letters X or Y, A, or B are kind of like a sealed container with a mystery number inside. They can represent any value. Now let's play a brief math game to flex our understanding. I'll show you an expression and we're gonna decode it together piece by piece. Here's one. The number three multiplied by the variable X plus the number four. The beauty of algebra is in how these expressions can represent so many different things just by including variables like X which can potentially represent any number. But wait, there's more. Algebraic expressions aren't just about plugging in values. They're the foundation for solving problems, from simple puzzles to complex real-world situations. So why don't we try creating our own real-world algebraic expression? Let's just say you're saving some money. How about 50 bucks a week? How can we express your savings over time, week after week? What do you say we use the variable w to represent some number of weeks? The algebraic expression would be the number 50 multiplied by the variable w. This expression tells us your savings after any given week. With the beauty of algebra, we can determine how much you'll have saved in two weeks, four weeks, and any number of weeks, just by including variables like w, which can potentially represent any number. I hope this adventure into algebraic expressions has sparked your curiosity. Algebra is not just about mixing numbers and letters. It's a way to model and solve problems, it's a language to describe patterns, and it's a tool for thinking critically about the world around us. Hey, props to you for taking some time out of your day to do some math with me. I hope you followed along, and if you made mistakes, that's all good. Remember that every mistake is a step towards learning something new. And hey, Mr. Mark's Math Adventures is having a giveaway. Click the link down in the description to see the giveaway details and for your chance to win. This is Mr. Mark signing off. I'll catch you next time with another math problem. What did you think? Did you approach this problem differently? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this problem, show your support by liking and sharing this video and don't forget to follow my page to stay up to date on more math related content until next time